This next event is an auto on for aux sense. As you know in SXL, you press on the encoder to turn the aux on, you turn the encoder to turn the aux up. So this event is to remove one of those steps. So as I actually as I turn up the aux, it automatically comes on. As I turn it down, it goes off. Up for on, down for off. Okay, this, this event works really well on Sins on Fader. I'm going to show you that next. And after that, we'll have a look at how we made this event. Auto aux on. And it sends on faders. We're in send on fader mode. We have uh, aux nine on the faders, and you'll see as I push the faders up, I turn that send on, pull them down, they go off. So push them up, they go on, pull them down, they go off. Okay, let's have a look at how we made that event. Okay, so the event auto aux on. Basically, if I turn up the aux send on any channel. It will switch it on. When I turn that send down, it will switch it off. So again, I've made a, a new event. I've called it AUX Auto On 9 because I'm going to make this event relate to Auxiliary 9. The trigger is any channel, general delay, that's the name of my AUX 9. Above infinite, the action will be set trigger strip AUX 9 in on while active. That means when I turn it up, it goes on. When I turn it down, it goes off. So let me show you how to do that. To do this on, on multiple auxes, we have to do a, an individual event for each one. And I'll show you how to quickly do that at the end of this. So, okay, any channel, aux 9 above infinite. I'll just delete that. So this will be a continuous control. It'll be above. So it means when I go above a certain value. I want it to be not any strip, I want it to be any channel. It's not the fader, it's the auxes. And it's aux 9, which I've called general delay. Above infinite, that's good, that's what I want. Okay, set trigger strip aux 9 in whilst active. I'm going to show you how to do that. First, let me delete here add now then this is a switch set control switch trigger strip double click on it aux 9 in again I want it on correct I don't want it to latch I don't want it to stay on I want it to be well active so that when I turn it down it goes off okay so that's how I've made one single aux 9 any channel I turn the send on it will turn that aux on Okay, so you can see here I've done 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way to 16. I'm going to show you how to quickly do this. So I've, obviously I can have up to um, 96 auxes on this desk. It'll take me a little while, but here's a little trick to do it quickly. So here's auto aux on 16. I hit duplicate. I click on here. I go to aux 17. I go to here. I go to aux 17, I double click here, and I rename it 17. So I've just done it for a whole other aux. 